to jail. Well, I'm RFX Mars. Maybe you should get the kids out of the room. I'm a little angry right now. More than a little angry. School district shuts down information after Stone Stoneman Douglas shooting. Now, why am I not surprised? Broward School District's repeated emphatic and it turns out false statements that Nicholas Cruz had not been in a controversial disciplinary program that fit a pattern of an institution on the defensive and under siege. In other words, they're lying. Facing significant legal and political exposure over the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the district has tried to keep information from the public and put out untrue and misleading statements, otherwise known as lies, frustrating parents who say this is a time for maximum transparency. Well, you're not going to get it from them! The district is fighting in court against the release of school surveillance video. I'm going to say that again. The district is fighting in court against the release of school surveillance video. It flatly refused to issue any records regarding the shooting to the news media and a possible violation of the state's open records law. Superintendent Robert Runcie has blocked critics, including parents, from his Twitter account. Oh boy. More than two months after the shooting, Broward Sheriff's deputy told the State Commission on School Safety that he was still waiting for the district to provide all of Cruz's disciplinary records. So they won't give the records to the public, they won't give them to the cops. Bad, dysfunctional as the cops are. And we're still expected to believe the official story! THAT'S NOT GONNA HAPPEN WITH ME! That is bullshit. The worst came last week when Russi acknowledged that his forceful denials that Cruz have, has been involved in the Promise Port program, which is intended to provide an alternative to rest of students for minor offenses, was wrong. The district had repeatedly dif dismissed his fake news suggestions that Cruz was in the program. It would appear the district is more interested in protecting their programs than they are the students and teachers in our schools, says Ryan Petty, whose 14-year-old daughter, Elena, was killed by Cruz during his rampage at, through the school. And I've heard reports of second shooters. Maybe that's why uh, we don't have any surveillance footage, you think? As father, I would ask the district to please be completely transparent so we can make sure this doesn't happen to any other children in any other schools in Florida. In an interview, Runcy said the district had nothing has held nothing back from authorities providing records as soon as they can be gathered. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Any delays reflect the state of the district's record keeping systems, he said, not reluctance to cooperate. Oh, come on! That's bullshit. That is incredible bullshit. Everything's computerized nowadays. Sitting so would look into the issue and blanket refusals to provide documents to the news media. Translating. Translated. He's going to uh, make it even harder. He's going to do everything he can to cover things up. Look, we want to be as transparent as, and clear as possible, he said. That is a lie. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. It's the only way we're going to move forward as a community. It's the only way we're going to get better as a school district and society to make sure that we can put things in place 
that these types of tragedies don't happen again. That is just utter bullshit. I'm sorry. I have no other way to put it. That is bullshit. Andrew Pollock, whose daughter Meadow was killed in the shooting, said he was surprised the school district still has not provided all of Cruz's records to investigators. At a meeting of the state commission set up after the shooting to improve school safety, Pollock asked a Sh Broward Sheriff's Deputy Detective whether all the records have been provided. I believe that some of the items we are seeking to get from the school board, we have received some. That Detective Zachary Scott said, but I do not believe we have received everything yet. You think? It caught us all off guard, Pollock said in an interview this week. We didn't believe it. It's past two months now already. A lot of people on the committee couldn't believe it. From the school district, Pollock said there's no honesty at all. You think? Sheriff spokesman Vita Coleman Wright declined to say whether the school district had supplied the records, whether it was cooperating with the investigation, saying only our detectives continue to work with several agencies as they progress with the investigation. Bullshit! You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. School district spokeswoman Tracy Clark said the district had provided accurate information to investigators, the press and the public as far as fast as possible, and any suggestion that the school district is not being forthcoming is either based on misunderstanding or misinformation. Oh, bullshit! You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. The district continues to focus on responding in timely and accurate manner to an unprecedented number of public records requests, media requests, and subpoenas related to the tragedy of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, she said in an email. In addition, we have coordinated numerous interviews with employees as a part of various ongoing investigations. Okay, I'm going to shout myself hoarse if I continue. So I'm pissed. But I think the point's been made here. These sons of bitches are lying right through their teeth. I don't think we're going to get any honesty out of them. Unless the sons of bitches... Are you a choice? Either bring out the records, or you're going to fucking jail! <coughs> Sorry, my voice is screwing up on me. Either bring out the records, or you're going to fucking jail! That's what they should be told! For crying out loud! You motherfuckers should be sent right to fucking jail! Go to jail! Go to jail! Go to jail! Go to jail. I've had it. I've had it. That's, that's good enough for today. I am pissed, boy. My voice is screwing up. This artifacts of Mars. Pissed off here in New York. That's Andrew Pollock, that's not the uh, douchebag running the, uh, there's the douchebag who runs the school. Whatever. You are watching the following Robert T.W., Robert W. Runcy and viewing Robert Runcy's tweets. Un-freaking-believable. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.